with COVID and the pandemic, the world has changed, maybe, maybe forever. And for those that have always suffered and known that they've suffered with mental health issues, it's kind of the worst storm. On the job, you can't get emotional. Over time, there is a build-up. PTSD, depression, paranoia, anxiety. You lose the person you once were. It affects every facet of your life. Men in the emergency services are much more likely to commit suicide due to mental health issues. And we just need to get the message out there. The sobering reality is that a life is lost to suicide every 40 seconds. It's an issue the local fire station commander hopes to raise awareness of in the middle of the Saharan desert. The Marathon de Sable is the toughest race on the planet. 250 kilometers, searing 50 degree plus heat across some of the most inhospitable terrain the planet has to offer. Camel spiders, snakes, scorpions, dehydration, organ failure, loss of consciousness. You're not going to finish in one piece. I think that it's absolutely crazy. I don't understand why he wants to do it. Just hope I don't get a, a horrible phone call. The person that goes out to the desert is very different to the person that comes back and I'm hoping that I can find some answers. The fact is he's having to shine a light on something which he's kept hidden most of his life. Every day he's dealing with the consequences of that. Mentally, it's going to be the, the hardest thing I've ever done. And I'm going to be speaking to some of my demons, I've got no doubt of that. The guy didn't turn up because he tried to take his own life in the park the night before. I have nearly taken that option sort of two or three times in the past because I didn't know how to deal with it. There's the stigma that is attached to mental health. It is definitely a male problem. The playground slang, man up, is, it's just two stupid words, aren't they? They're just so meaningless and stupid. I want my son to grow up and, and be able to talk to me about anything. I never want him to suffer in silence. When you suffer with mental health issues, it is like being in prison in your head. And I've been running for 12, 15, 24 hours, whatever it may be. I've got complete freedom. I'm, I'm on day release. A big tough man in the fire service can be open about his mental health issues, then you know we all should and we all can. I know I'm not the only one that's affected. There will be plenty of others that won't admit to it. Blokes, we're rubbish at talking and we need to get better.